Might as well make this video or I'm never gonna make it. Hi. <laughs> Jeremy. I'm a hairstylist here in Denver, Colorado. I've been doing hair, I guess, at this point for almost six years. I currently work at a blowout bar, not dry bar, although I did used to work at dry bar. Why should you care about that? Because I know everything there is to know about hair. Ding! Okay, not really. Maybe this is your first time going to get a blowout and you're not sure how to prepare. Maybe you're wondering, do I need to bring anything? How much should I tip? All great questions. Before we get into it, obviously, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. I don't have many videos on my channel, but hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below your thoughts. So what to expect? When you book a blowout, you can generally expect to be shampooed. Obviously, they'll use conditioner too. In most cases, you can also get a treatment add-on, which I highly recommend. Most blowout bars I've worked at, they have a beverage menu, some champagne, wine. If you're trying to do shots of tzatziki, girl, you might have to do that before you you get there. Some have and some will. Which brings me to a pro tip. I would really encourage you in this instance to show your stylist at the blowout bar the same respect that you show your stylist at the salon where you get your hair colored. They both went to hair school. They both spent that time. They're both licensed from the same state board. They might even still be both paying off student loans from their expensive hair school. The point is, the stylist at the blowout bar is a licensed professional in your state, just like the stylist at the salon where you get your hair cut and colored. It is discouraged to come in to a blowout bar and tell that stylist how to do hair. Please remember, this hairstylist does blowouts all day long. So they have a huge frame of reference. They've seen all different kinds of hair. They've faced a lot of challenges. And while it is a good idea to have patience, not everyone there is a brand new stylist. And the truth is, I have a salon suite that I do hair out of a couple days a week and I work at the blowout bar and I have a couple side hustles too. Basically, trust your stylist and just remember that they went to hair school for a long time, okay? And I'll tell you a secret, hair school ain't easy, okay? It ain't easy. With that being said, please be on time to your appointment. In order for a blowout bar to turn a profit, we have to be booked as stylists back to back to back. So if you're five minutes late, the client after you is probably gonna have to wait five to 10 minutes. And that's gonna set my entire day back. Yet, I will have people come in late, didn't call, no explanation, no apology, don't even look like they're rushing. And I just think that is so disrespectful. Please, you're hearing it from a hairstylist. Please be on time. Like, are people still really blaming it on traffic? Traffic is not a new concept, girl. <laughs> Remember too, for every minute that you're late, that's one minute less that we can spend on your hair. I don't know about you, I've never done your hair, but my clients want every minute of this and more. <laughs> Tipping. Tipping in the hair industry, similar to when you go out to eat, I usually like to tip 20%. If you razzle and dazzle the doll, 25, 30, I mean, I tip my barber 50%. Tipping under 15%, listen, I know people are gonna say that tipping is optional. What you need to know about a blowout bar is that I've worked at blowout bars before where we got paid less than minimum wage. So your tip is really the make or break of whether or not this person is gonna have a livable wage. Knowing that, um, I think that 15% is the lowest that I think you should go. If I'll, I'll be honest with you, my average tip on a $55 blowout is 20 bucks, but my level of service, <laughs> through the roof, baby. But if you wanna give a great tip, 20% is great. Now, the consultation is really gonna be the make or break. The better of an understanding you have during that consultation, the better your hair is gonna look at the end. Trust me, pictures are great. For example, beachy wave, soft curls, these all mean different things to different people. I've heard before glam curls, bedroom curls. If you ever had a great blowout, I love it when people come in and they take pictures of a great blowout they got. That really helps me. Having these things ready is great. Don't, please, 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 please don't be 
the girl that comes in late, doesn't know what they want, has to use the bathroom when they get there, and wants to scroll through Pinterest for five minutes. Girl, no, no ma'am, that's what you don't do. Here's the thing, while you can come in and get work done, that's great. If you and your girlfriend can come in or you can book a birthday party, get blowouts, have a good time, that's fantastic. Just remember, you're coming in to get your hair done. It's not a co-working space. It is not a diner. And honestly, it is not a club. Don't get wasted and be loud. Just don't, okay? You know, be open-minded. I've had clients who will come in and say, this is the product I like, this is the thing I like, this is what I do. And I'm like, well, actually, based on what it is that you want, that's not the best way to get it. Another pro tip, if you have longer hair, we're, we're talking about to here, Miss Bra Strap, area and down if it's thick 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 if you have extensions if they have to book more time at your other salon those are all indicators that we're gonna need more time too and honestly girl get the membership if you come more than twice a month to any blowout place get the membership i literally forgot the most important thing i set all this back up just to tell you never buy anything dry bar sales never everything they make is garbage i have their blow dryer it's trash. I can't even show you any of the cheap clips they sell. I shouldn't say cheap. They're four for $20, but I can't even show you any because they're all broken. They snap. It's trash. It's all trash. They spend money on things where, that are that you can see and smell. So they spend a lot of money on fragrance and they spend a lot of money on packaging and marketing. Fancy bottles. Maybe you'll see fun colored uh, shampoos and products and stuff, but um, more clients than I can even tell you like complain about their scalp irritation because of all of the alcohol, also all of the fragrance, um, a lot of people. And it's garbage, it's garbage. Let me just go and get my good stuff. Do you want some good brushes? Erica Styling Tools, baby. I am a brand ambassador. I will link them down below. You can shop my link. Obviously you'll get 10% off, but sweetie, 20% longer barrel okay number one yes there is hair in there i'm a hairstylist <laughs> infused with tourmaline carbon so these bristles aren't even gonna if they bend you just hit them with the heat they go right back silicone handle like luckily i can use this like at the blowout bar i work at now like when i worked at dry bar girl my hands killed me because of those cheap brushes yeah, i keep saying cheap girl everything there is not cheap do you know how much this piece of blow dryer costs Two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, no, trash, trash. If you want to get blow dryer? Get an Ergo. ErgoStylingTools.com. Like I said, I will link them down below. Make hands down the best round brushes in the industry. I forgot to say goodbye on camera, but hopefully this video was helpful. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, there it is. Until next time, bye.